Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV. In this video, I wanna show you how you can leverage the preview to really design your app UI. So we're working on this game right now. I wanna add a pause screen. I haven't added the functionality yet, but I've got everything pausing except this little trail behind the player. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our storyboard file. So you'll find yours on the left over here. Just click on it. And your storyboard file is gonna have a bunch of different files. Now, when we wanna test our different screens, you're really going to want to be able to zoom in and out. So you can double click to zoom in and out. And I want to show you a new screen. So we're going to switch to the assistant editor and I'll show you a couple ways to get to this. So right now it's going to show us code. It's set to automatic. So depending on what view you're selected, you're going to see different things appear. So if I select this one, we're going to see that we're now in the game view controller. This one, since it's just a view controller, I haven't set anything special yet. There's no code file associated with it. It's just defaulting to Apple's UIViewController.h file. Now, what we really want is the preview. So I'm going to jump down to the preview on the breadcrumbs here. So that's just along the top that you have to click on this. And now we can preview what our game is going to look like on different devices. Now, in order to see this effectively, we're going to have to rearrange some of our screen components. So I'm going to hide our left bar by clicking the button on the top right and get rid of the bottom bar. And we might not even need this sidebar here. So depending on what you're doing, if you just want to look at this, then I'm going to rearrange this so that we can really get the maximum use out of our space. I'll double click here to recenter that. And we can zoom in and out on this screen. Now you can do that here. No, I guess it, you can only do it on the outside. So only zoom in and out on the outsides. But what's really key here is this button down here, this little hidden button. You click on this and we can get different previews. So I can get the iPad. I can get the iPhone 6. And let's even get the, the iPhone uh, three and a half inch. Now, if I double click to zoom out, you can see we have a selection of devices. Now, you can't really do anything. So once you have them on, you can't remove them. So it's sort of first one you create is the first one you'll see. So if you don't want the iPad first, you can select it, hit delete, and you can re-add it again. All right, so once you have all these previews, you can see how your UI is going to look. And if you wanted to experiment with changing the size of something, uh, by resizing it and repositioning it. Xcode might hate me for this. I am going to re try and reposition this one. And then I'll tell Xcode to update the constraint for this element. You can use the shortcut here as well. That should give us new preview and we can see how that's gonna look on the different screen sizes. All right, so this is super useful. You can also rotate if you click the little button here. Now it lags a little bit, so give it a second and you can see how your UI is gonna look on multiple screens. Now I wanna show you some of the hotkeys. I'm gonna see if I can turn on my keyboard shortcuts. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna do, uh, what is it? All right, so it's this keyboard shortcut. So that's Alt, Option, Command, Enter. So that's Alt or Option, that's the same key. And if I do that, it's gonna give us the, the two screens. If I just do the command enter, it's gonna go back to a single screen. So this is super useful when you wanna bring up the preview. The, the thing that you'll do is you'll have your storyboard open, then you'll do the option command enter. That's gonna open up your second window. And if preview is not already selected, if it's on manual or automatic, just switch it over to preview and you'll be able to see quickly how your layout changes are going to play out. Now, if I undo some of the changes, you can see that this is gonna move around a little bit and our previews will update. Another thing you can do is you can add new constraints. So I could do something like the aspect ratio and just for fun, we'll set up the aspect ratio to the big screen. And what I'm gonna to need to do here is control this aspect ratio with the sidebar, so we'll throw this on out here. We'll zoom back out, and you'll be able to see how the, the element's going to change. Now I'm gonna slide over with my two finger scroll on the magic trackpad. I'll click on this constraint. Now we get to modify the multiplier. So if I change this to something like an eight to 25, you're gonna notice that pause is gonna take up a lot more space. Now, how do you wanna think about this? Well, think of this in terms of 100 and then think, okay, maybe I want 70% of the screen to be used. And then if you've got the thing mixed up, then you have to reverse it. So 70 to 100, we'll see what that looks like. And we're not any better. And so why is this not working? Well, it turns out we're doing this in relation to the height 
it's actually making Xcode think a lot. I really want this in relation to the width since that's the, the amount that's going to be changing. And so it wasn't 7100, it should be 170. Now the order here is based on the order that the constraint is created in. So right now I'm having it take up 70% of the space here. And what I could do is I could go down to 50%. And you can see how everything's going to shrink in your previews. And it's going to be in the middle 50%. There's going to be 25% margins on all of the paused graphics. Now, uh, it looks like Xcode over here didn't resize after we updated those constraints and got a little bit confused. So now what I'm going to have to do is update this frame. So I'm going to select this object. You're going to see that it's taking up 50% here, but we're seeing the big pause S right there. And so what I'm going to have to do here is say update I don't want to update constraints. If I update constraints, it's going to stay as big as it is right now. I want to update the frame so it's going to jump it back in. And, and there we go. So that's how you can use live preview. That's how you can use the keyboard shortcuts to quickly bring it up. This also works with playgrounds. So if you want to pull up the assistant editor with playgrounds, use these keyboard shortcuts. That's option, command, enter to bring it open. And then when you want to go back to a single view, it's just command, enter. Super quick, super useful, highly recommended, especially if you're on a small screen. All right, so thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can make a game or how you can do UI for a game using the iPhone interface builder, what you're seeing right here, sign up for my course. I've got a 50% discount uh, if you sign up right now, and that will get you going with building your very first iPhone game, a 2D game in Sprite Kit using Swift for iOS 8 and later.